Some young designers showed their work during uh, New York Fashion Week uh, to introduce um, some Detroit flavors to the runways. Now they're back in the D to tell us about their creations. Yeah. So excited. All right, well, joining us are Elise Dixon, Chief Program Officer of Boys and Girls Club of Southeastern Michigan, along with designers Zayana. Lydia and Talia. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. morning. Okay, so how did it feel to be in, in New York City for Fashion Week? Was it a surreal experience in some ways? It was it was really just life changing, really, because I I didn't expect any of it. So it was really fun and a very educational experience. Okay. Very helpful to plan my future and career inside fashion. Okay, now hand this to her and then hand this back to me. Teamwork, <laughs> that's how we do it. Yes, it was very helpful for my future career and it made me gain a lot of opportunities and I love the experience and I love being in the city. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for you guys, I'm sure the city was just huge and crazy and you're there for Fashion Week, which makes it even more exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so Elise, got a question for you. Yeah. Tell us about the Industry Club and how it's giving young people in our community paid workforce experience. Absolutely. So Industry Clubs is a signature program here at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeastern Michigan, and it's a workforce program. So we pay young people to actually learn amazing industries. Right now we do eight, fashion is one of them, and these young people are being taught by industry professionals who are currently practicing and they're learning real life skills that they can apply immediately to the workforce. That's incredible because, I mean, you're basically getting paid to learn from experts, Absolutely. which is a really cool thing. So describe the theme of the designs and what inspired it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the theme was Afrofuturism, and what inspired it was um, just Afro culture in general, black people getting together in a collaborative space and being their excellent selves. Okay, I like that. Okay, right. talk us through uh, some of the looks you created. Uh, let's start with Lydia. So my look was based off of my peers around me and other people, well, my friends and my peers around me, I wanted to emphasize uh, mental health and self-esteem throughout other teenagers because I feel like as teenagers, it can be overlooked sometimes as we're growing and we're going through puberty. So I focused on my favorite insect, which is a butterfly, and how they go through metamorphosis. And even though as humans we don't go through personal metamorphosis, we still change throughout our daily lives. So I really wanted to highlight that. I like that. I That's like the most that. incredible answer. How old are you? <laughs> I could, I'm, I'm 15. I old. cannot believe that was the most beautiful <laughs> description of your style. I, I, it was deep, moved right? Me. That yeah. moved me. I just Thank thought you, you were like, yeah, I was trying to kill some time. Yeah. <laughs> no. But you actually put so much thought into what yeah. you create. That is yes. fantastic. That was one of the things I really had to work on over this six-month program is communicating my vision because I know I wanted to get my message out there, but I didn't know how to properly communicate that, and my mentor and my peers around me, like Talia and Zayana, really helped me. All right. Well, next let's get to Talia. We have some pictures of your designs as well. Tell us about them. Well, my design started off with my love for creation of story writing and also being able to tell a story behind a personal um, collection. So first start off with one of my favorite movies, which is Ghost Rider. And then Hold added, your mic up just a little bit, honey. Then added also with Afrofuturism. Taking those two things and mixing the past with the present to create the future was one of the best things I have done. Okay, so let me hold the mic for you while you grab your creation behind you so everyone can get a look at that. It's funky, y'all. Wait till you see oh, this. I love the embellishments on the back of the jacket. That's funky. Mm -hmm. Okay, now really quick, Zayana, tell us about your looks. Um, yes, so... Um, so my brand is all about versatility and transitional wear. And so partnering with and just um, doing this small collection, I really wanted to focus on Afrofuturism in Ghana. Um, so in, in Ghana, the, in the Ashanti tribe, women were, was the main um, focus in power and authority. So I wanted to add that 
to have a royalty feel in my collection, also to include Afrofuturism and black creatives in my garments. So women was a big, um, a big focus in my, um, my garments, showing um, women just being creative and also empowering throughout um, everything I produce. Okay, I love it. Thank you all so much for being with yeah. us. Absolutely, thank we you. We need to get a little deeper, my friend. Listen, this is the future of youth we fashion. We need to get Absolutely. deeper, just saying.